beautiful Nicolette. Welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new. Recently I did a whole video on DIY natural beauty hacks, and I think you guys are liking that one, so I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it. So I thought I would start doing kind of like DIY beauty hack type videos. This one's gonna be all my favorite DIY face masks. These are all face masks that target different things. You can make all these right from your home. You probably have all the ingredients in your cupboards or in your fridge, but of course, make sure before you apply anything on your face, you always do a test patch on your hand. I always make sure to do that because you really don't know what's gonna react with your skin. If you guys want me to do maybe a DIY hair mask video, thumbs it up and I will definitely do that one next. Also just wanted to throw out there that YouTube apparently is changing their algorithm so they won't be putting videos in order anymore. It would mean the absolute world if you headed to my channel and turned the bell on so you're notified when I upload a video. But I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's just jump into it. These are the four DIY face masks I will be sharing with you today. They all target different skin types and do different things to the skin. So to begin, of course, you need to have a fresh, clean face before you're going to apply any face mask to your skin. And the first face mask I'm gonna be sharing with you is an avocado and vitamin E face mask. So all you're gonna need is a small bowl, take about half an avocado and put it into the bowl and then you're just going to mash it up with a fork. Once you're done mashing it all up, as best as you can, you're just going to add one teaspoon of vitamin E oil. So you can put the actual oil or you can even take vitamin E capsules and take the oil out of that and put it into the bowl. Once I put it into the bowl, I just mixed it all together and this face mask is extremely great if you have really dry skin because it is super moisturizing and nourishing to your skin. It's gonna leave your skin feeling so soft and hydrated. I just applied it all over my face, of course avoiding the eyes when applying any face mask and all you're gonna do is keep it on for 20 minutes and then you're just going to rinse it off with warm water. And like I said, your skin is just going to feel so soft and amazing. So this is really great if you do have super dry skin. It's also really great for the winter time when our skin's a little bit more dry. This is definitely a great face mask. This next face mask helps to prevent acne. All you're gonna need is about three tablespoons of oats, a quarter cup of warm water, and to finish it off, just put one tablespoon of coconut oil into the mixture and mix it all up until it is completely mixed. Apply it onto your skin, all over avoiding your eyes once again. And this mask should be on for about 15 minutes. And once the 15 minutes are, is over, you're just going to rub it in even more with your hands for about five minutes. Oats are really great because they work to soothe inflamed skin by restoring the pH balance. Coconut oil has always been seen as a great moisturizer because of its antibacterial and antifungal properties. But this is just really great for anyone who has acne prone skin. This next face mask is also another breakout prevention mask. All you're going to need is one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, and two tablespoons of honey. Put it into a bowl, mix it all together. For this one, for sure, make sure you test patch because some people have found that cinnamon can irritate your skin. However, for myself personally, I never found that to happen to me. But like I said, for all these face masks, you really should be test patching on your skin because you never know what will react with you. Cinnamon has been seen as super great because it does have a lot of antibacterial properties that can help prevent acne. While the nutmeg is slightly exfoliating and it's also said to open up your pores. And lastly, honey, of course, makes your skin soft. So this face mask is said to just be great for brightening your skin, clearing breakouts, and evening your skin tone. And I just keep this on for about 15 to 20 minutes as well. It is extremely sticky, I must say, but once I was done, I just rinsed it off with warm water, but I did find it a little bit exfoliating to the skin and I did really like this one as well. And the last mask is extremely simple and it's really great for minimizing pores and that is just taking one egg white and putting it into a bowl. You can whisk it together. This is super great because it tightens your skin and it's great for shrinking large pores. If you do have really dry skin, I suggest just applying this to the T-zone area just because it can be a little bit drying and you don't have to put it all over your face if you don't want to. If you want to just target the T-zone area to minimize 
size pores, then I definitely recommend doing that. But you're just going to apply it on for 15 minutes and rinse it off with warm water. Those are all the face masks, but of course, when you are done any face mask, make sure you moisturize. So I just love using my Aveeno Daily Moisturizer. It's just the moisturizer I've been using recently. I'll link it down below if you guys are curious. But those are all the face masks, so I hope you guys liked it. That is all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button to join the Nicolette's Fam Jam. So your girl uploads every other day here on my channel. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day, evening, or night. Whenever you're watching this. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!